Here we go again, everyone. This is Battle Hunter. A cheap game, but one of the funnest, greatest multiplayer games I've ever played. Made by A1 Games, who was known at a time when the PlayStation was uh, still around and the PS2 and... Well, actually, this was 2001, so maybe the PS2 and Xbox just came out then, but... A1 Games was known for making um, some cheap games. Like, you could see them. You could find them in a store for maybe 10 bucks, Real cheap. But I actually got a couple of them. This was one of them. But I got one Billiards, which was just pool, basically. But it was actually pretty fun. And um, the other one was Tetris, which and that one was kind of fun too. But um, I just saw, I always saw them around. Just these, there were space shooter type games. Uh, there was this one with some kid in a frog costume that I always saw. But this one caught my eye. Now I rented this one from the uh, local video store. Um, Around the time when it first came out, it was just a random rental, but it was just so worth it because this is one of the funnest games I've ever played. And as you can see, I'm making my trademark character that I always make in this game, Connor. Connor always has to have this type of uh, graphic. I'm just showing you all the different t c character types. But I always stick with this one, no matter what. This was the first character I ever created in this game, and the one I've always stuck with. Hey you, what do you want? You are a rookie! I'll teach you what you need to know. A hunter's job is to find things, locate lost items, and such. If you're not doing a job, go explore the dungeon. In there you can find things of value. If you find something, bring it back to me and I will reward you. I don't have any jobs for you. Go explore the dungeon for now. I'm the man you should talk to. First job for a rookie is find this metal. Go take care of your business. Listen to that awesome music in the background. Now, as you can see, you can. This is one of those random generated dungeon games, but you get movement cards, defense cards, attack cards, and trap cards. And all right, got the middle already. But actually, for those of you who don't know. Um, the first mission, the, the item that you're supposed to get is always the closest box to you. Now, in these random generated dungeons, there's eight boxes located uh, throughout the dungeon. And you want to try to get as many as you can. You can never get all of them because there's all these computer AI characters. And some of them go after the items, some of them just go to attack you. Usually the ones with low movement and high attack will attack you. <laughs> and, you know, it's funny because it seems like I'm just going off, but I take this game super seriously. This is one of... <laughs> I can't stress enough how much this is one of my favorite games. And... I played a few strategy games before, and I usually suck at strategy games. This is the most strategic game I think I've played, and maybe I just overplay it of how strategic it is, because it's not that strategic. It's basically random, a roll of the dice, see what you can get, but no, this is one heck of a strategy game for me. can see some of the AI usually goes after boxes. The ones with the high movement always go after boxes. We got random robot battles. 
engage in the random robot battles. The robots have a set HP. You never know what it is, but the slime ones have the highest HP with the lowest defense, so it kind of works out. Now, if you get doubles and you do any amount of damage to it, it stuns them and they can't attack. Very, very helpful later on. I was saying the, the orange cards you get are for attack cards. You can only use those in battle. Um, the yellow cards are for defense. You can use those in battle, as I'm using now. It adds 6 to your defense stat, which minus 2 right now. It makes it 8. So, if the computer does less than my dice count, uh, 8, I don't take any damage. And I'm doing a terrible job of explaining this, but bear with me. So yeah, doubles again, stunned him, doesn't matter, he's dead. He's dead. The slime is a male, yes. How can you tell? Because his name is Bro. Um... Also, uh, the yellow defense cards can be used outside of battle to avoid traps that are uh, on the ground. You can't see the traps, but there's uh, they're out there, and you will run into them at the worst possible times. It never fails. Now, the movement cards, you can use those in battle too, but it's just for escaping, helping you escape. I'm trying to explain as much of this game as I can in one video, but there's just no way I I get so carried away with this game. And as for the green trap cards, you can use those you can only use those outside of battle. And there's four different ones. Stun, uh, empty, leg damage, and what's the other one? Oh uh, just a damage trap. I'll try to explain those as I go along when I come up, up upon them. So right now I just want to get to the exit basically because I have the item. I don't need to attack. It'd be nice to get a few more items to get some more money, but I don't want to die. But I never die. Sign Connor. I always win. So this robot right here, Rad, I think, um, this is the, the toughest one, the most cheapest robot in the game. He is, oh, he always stuns you or whatever when he gets doubles. You're still alive. Okay, I will buy the target item. Other items are depending on you. Either sell or keep them. Some items will aid your missions. First you need to identify them. Then if you wish, I will buy them from you. Awesome. Saving the profile. As you can see, there's been a lot of hunters in the world, but there's only one Connor. Never mind the other one you saw at the top of the screen before. I almost got all the items with one of them, but I haven't been able to get them all yet. Why did that change? I'll explain why next time. Let us level up so that we can go on to the next mission. Why am I healing? Find out why next time. There's 15 missions total, so I'm going to be having to do this a lot more later on. And that'll do it for this part. Stay tuned for mission number two.